days off. Take no breaks. You in my lane. You in my way. You trust that love. It ain't your day. We got a meeting in the French Quarter in five minutes, and you can't be late. Go ahead, lead the way. What you do anyway. What's that supposed to mean? If you got a problem with me, come out and say it. First Kai, now this Ormstrid. Forgive me if I feel like a puppet in all of this. You reached out to us, remember? Your friend Sebastian is gonna help break down two deadly organizations, Tatakul and Ormstrid's empire. I guess I'm nervous about being back on US soil. How about we blow off those dust sheets with a sprint? Uh, hello? Okay, sure. I'll meet you there. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? Nice corner, but you'll need to be faster to beat me. It'd take you any day. Maybe one day, but not this day. That's a nice car you got. Shame about the color, though. But bright red is so unique. Interruption, ladies, but who exactly are we meeting again? One of our crew's been working deep undercover. If he's doing his job, they won't know he's there. Yo, man. Still waiting on my ride. Don't you know what chop chop means? That's your undercover guy? Wait, I recognize him. He's a friend of Tej. Roman something. Yeah, Roman something, all right. Wait here a minute. Let me find out what's up. Excuse me, ladies. Come on, Betty. This shit ain't cool. You're gonna blow my cover. No, for real. Tonight, I'm running some huge op. That's inside a bad guy speak for operation. Never would have guessed. I'm just waiting for the call. Now, who are you two? <sighs> Vienna Cole. I used to race with Tej back in Miami. They've been helping us with the Moroccan op. Right on. So what you got to understand is that I've spent weeks working my way up the ladder. I'm practically running the whole thing now. Impressive. Yeah, that'll be my secret terrorist network contact. I'm supposed to deliver something important to the big boss himself tonight. OK. Keep us posted. Damn, Letty. You don't think I know what I'm doing by now? All right, cool. I got to bounce. I got a whole criminal organization to run. Hey, man, where am I headed? Subtle, that one. Hit me up with an address. Who do you think you're talking to, Aaron boy? No address. You just go where I tell you. Now take a left up ahead. You want to go north on the freeway towards Seabrook. What in the hell is over in Seabrook? None of your goddamn business. Take the on-ramp here. Now you better hurry up. The boss won't like it if you're late with his delivery. You guys came to me because you wanted skill and experience. You came to me because you want the best. 
Your ass is still on probation as far as the boss is concerned. Consider this a test. A test? After all I've done for you guys? <laughs> shit, let's see how you do tonight. Man, this shit better not be about no damn cigar. What was that? Long story. This is why I drive the supercars and you drive the trucks. Okay, now take the exit for Seabrook. Hell are we going? Take this right. We're going towards Lakefront. Just stupid. Bad guys can't get their package delivered closer to the city. Left again. You're real close now. Finally. You're the worst backseat driver ever. not be no setup. Hey there. How you doing this fine evening? Not a good idea for you to be all alone out here this late. Sure. Get on in. I guess you know a strong, protective man when you see one. And I know a gorgeous, aggressive woman yes. when I... 911? I'd like to report a crime. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You're the one who got in my car. A police officer is shot and bleeding out. Corner of Townsend and Harbor. Please, hurry. I saw a silver Aston Martin with New York plates pulling away from the scene of the crime. Where's the package I'm supposed to pick up? Is that it? I'm the package. Welcome to part two of the test. Let's just call it evasive maneuvers. Now drive. We're going to this destination. Listen, lady. 
I ain't the criminal version of Uber. real fast. You are so concerned about the lives of those police officers. Perhaps you are one as well. Me? A cop? Hell no. How about I show you my prison test from back in Barstow later? If there is a later. Keep throwing those things out the window and we'll have a whole damn city looking for it. You have another way to stop things? Actually, I do. The next level James Bond shit. The Boss man can throw all the tests he wants at me. I've been rolling with you guys for months now. I got this. You don't always have your fancy gadgets. But at least now I know you can improvise. Get rid of the rest of them. Adios, suckers. Double or nothing. Gotta protect those cops. Nothings. We're here. Wait. What are you doing? Big tip after that.
I assume I passed in? You talk too much. We're still on for drinks later, right? Mr. Piers, I heard you ran into some trouble with the local law enforcement. Oh, was that what I saw in my rear view? I was going too fast to notice. Then it appears you're exactly the driver we need for a rather delicate operation. You know I'm the only man for the job, right? Did you ever order something online, only to never have it appear on your doorstep? Ah, sure. That sucks, man. Immensely frustrating. Especially if it's something you specifically wanted, and you can't have it just because some idiot screwed up on the delivery. Fortunately, there is a replacement. One that will satisfy my requirements after some adjustments. Well, right on, man. Are you up to the task, Mr. Pierce? Does fast food cure a hangover? Good luck, Mr. Pierce. My son Kai will give you the details. Oh, wait. This is your pops? Roman. Okay. I got a top secret mission, and I'm gonna need two things. What's that? First, some cars. I mean, serious cars. Okay, what else? I'm gonna need some kind of signal scrambler, because what they want me to steal can never be turned on. Armstrong found himself another Eclipse device. I've been thinking of a way to jam it. Leave it with me. Yeah, the big boss man was pretty upset that his son Kai lost the first one. Wait, did you say Kai? Yeah. Kai is Armstrong's son? And you saw him tonight? Saw him? I could have reached out and smacked him. Huh. What are we waiting for? First, we meet up with Dom. Maybe this is where our luck turns around. How did you find out about this race? Every city, every town in America has got a race. Tell me again why Interpol can't just give us some cars. Roman's supposed to be this lone wolf wheelman. They expect him to find his own rights. So where are they? Dominic Toretto, welcome to the Big Easy. Mahalia, I got a business proposition for you. Anything for a legend like you. We need some cars. Ah, uh, that I can't do. 
Look, Dom, what's mine is yours, but this whole thing is legit. I've heard the rumors of what you do with cars nowadays, and I can't have it traced back to me or what we built here. Great, so what do we do now? What we do best. <laughs> Respectfully, nobody in their right mind would consider going up against you in this race. True, but I'm not gonna be the one behind the wheel. This is no amateur event, sweetheart. What'd you bring? 500 kilowatts, 750 horsepower, and zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds fast enough for you, sweetheart. Fair enough. We'll see if your sleeper car can keep up with these. Thank you. 
down now. You gotta show John the right to put his faith in you. This ain't no sleeper car. Its eyes are wide open and awake. Last sector of the lap now. Gotta bring it home. I'm gonna do it! Last few corners, focus! Where'd you find Cam, anyway? You know, I'm realizing now, I think they found me. I was 10. They were a few years younger. They were new to the neighborhood. And their parents constantly left them alone. And one night, I caught them trying to get into my house. They were scared. They. I just wanted someone to play with. What did you do? I guess I could have yelled for my parents, but they were crying. So we just played, talked about cars. And after that, we hung out all the time. We've been through a hell of a lot together. What about their parents? Let's grab the pinks for the cars. Dom's probably halfway to Roman with the scrambler by now. <laughs> 